So I wouldn't normally film today, but since it's a day off, we'll see what happens. One thing for sure about running is it creates a lot of laundry. <sighs> so a couple of things that I do on my days off from running, obviously tons of laundry to get done. Um, you know, if I'm not able to keep up with it throughout the week, just because I'm running and working, usually a day off from running is a good day, at least have some time to do some folding. Uh, and a lot of stretching, a lot of stretching, foam rolling. So we'll do that in just a minute. Um, but it's a day that, you know, if I can get out and do my cross training, uh, do some thing on the exercise bike or the elliptical, come back, get on the foam roller, and just really prepare my legs for then jumping back into running. Let's finish this up, wrap up laundry, do a little bit of foam rolling. I'll talk a little bit about my foam rolling routine uh, just because it's President's Day. So happy President's Day. I personally have off from my full-time job today. Hopefully you guys do too. space to talk about all this and demonstrate much in here um, but obviously we've got the foam roller this is a staple probably for anybody who's running a lot I've got a foot log which Frankie loves and might try and eat I've got this rope for stretching and also this uh, it's basically like a calf or muscle roller um, but handheld so I can you know roll out calves and things like that uh, with a little bit less pressure than something like the foam roller or like the Theragun as well. So I'll usually spend at least once a day, like five minutes using the foam roller. But on my Monday and Friday, when I have rest days from running, I'll usually use this for about like 20 to 30 minutes. So those 20 to 30 minutes include rolling out, you know, my calves, uh, you know, the outsides of my quads and hamstrings, uh, kind of where your IT band is. Um, I spend a lot of time on my quads uh, and then I also do a lot of work like on my glutes so I might roll out something like this uh, where I'm kind of rolling the outside of my glute muscle um, I'll do that for you know probably a good two to five minutes depending on how I'm feeling and uh, yeah I guess that's just kind of the basics again I don't have like a lot of space to, to kind of show you each of the things that I do but this is something that I'm doing again, like 20 to 30 minutes on my rest days, uh, just when I have a little bit more time. So that's, you know, just some of the boring basics of my recovery day and rest days. Um, you know, running takes a lot of time. We have regular life, all of us, that takes a lot of time, like the dishes, like the laundry and everything. So I just use Mondays and Fridays when I'm really not running aggressively uh, or at all. Uh, I'm just using that time to try and catch up on chores, get things out of the way. That way I do have the time I need to do the things that I like to do, do the things that I want to do with running, do things with family and friends. So it's just all that balance. Uh, the hardest thing is probably how much laundry is created from running in the winter if you're running multiple days a week. Uh, that's the biggest thing. So for all of you who have to do laundry also, I know it's a struggle and I feel you on that one in the winter. So other than that, we're gonna do some fun stuff today too. My dad and my brother Alex are gonna be over here uh, probably in an hour or so. We're gonna have some lunch and actually go go-karting. So let's see if I can get any of that on film, but otherwise, 
That's kind of the core of my rest day. Get some chores done, get some important stretching and foam rolling in, and that's about the whole day for me. Mm -hmm.